everyone, welcome to Lucy's Larkin Adventures. Uh, we're back out today um, for our second adventure of spring 2019. It's an absolutely glorious day, sun's out, it's feeling nice and warm. Um, the water is still a bit higher than we'd like, but we're at this lovely location. We've never been here before, so it's pretty exciting to see what's here. Um, and there are some shallower bits and some beachy bits, as I like to call them. So we're going to head down over now, see if there's anything exciting to find. See you in a second. Okay, so I'm down. Uh, it's looking really clear and shallow here. Uh, it heads off down a bit further down that way. So Ryan's just headed off to see uh, how far down we can go and if there's anything a bit further down. But there are some promising signs here already. I can see some sort of glints of things that might be pottery. So that's promising. Um, and before I start, I'd just like to say thank you so much for the overwhelming response to our last video. Um, it was so nice to know that so many of you have been waiting for our new video after a bit of a hiatus over winter so I was really just overwhelmed with your lovely comments welcoming us back um, and today hopefully some of you will be pleased to see the return of a glass bottom bucket it's a new one freshly made by Ryan so um, first I'm just going to have a look in the shallow bit by eye see if there's anything exciting to find uh, and then we'll have a go with the glass bottom bucket and see if that helps us find anything else so let's get stuck in see what we can find it's always exciting to see signs like this in a new place. Hopefully it's a sign that there's fun and interesting things to find. So let's have a look and see what this is. Ah, look. It is a bottle. Looks like an old sauce bottle, doesn't it? No name. And it's a screw top, so it's not the oldest we've ever found. But great. I think that means that there's going to be stuff here to find, which is fab. So I've just interrupted film and I've only been in about three minutes because Ryan's called me with some very exciting news. So let's head over here, I'll bring you back, show you what it is. Okay, uh, Ryan's just called me over because we've had a very exciting find. So I'm just gonna go in and pull it out. It looks pretty complete, can you tell what it is? Let's go for it. Oh it is, look at that, how exciting. I don't know if it's still got the marble in. It must do, surely. I'll have to give it a good clean. And it says, oh, look, it's a JB Bowler. This bottle belongs to JB Bowler Bath. And it should have. Yeah, look. The lovely sign on the other side. How exciting. We've been in like less than five minutes. Yeah, look, you can just see the marble in there as well. Oh, that's fantastic. What an exciting find just nestled there. Just waiting to be discovered after all those years. So yeah, after five minutes of searching, that is probably the most exciting thing we've found so quickly, isn't it? Everything. Well spotted, yeah. Uh, we've only, I think we've only found one other complete one of these, haven't we? A few broken ones. So yeah, this is just a joy to find. What a great way to start. Okay, so after the excitement of Ryan's first gem of a find, I'm back where I started. Um, and I'm just going to have a look around here. I can see some exciting things already, so I'll bring you with me while we check them out. Nice little bottle here, look. Linseed compound, trademark. That's great. I do think we've got one of these before, actually. What does that say? K Brothers. Yeah, so that's a super little find. So what a promising place. Uh, and there are a few more exciting things. I can see lots of signs of pottery, so I'm going to come and sort of gather those up in a second. But for the time being, I'm just going to gather the obvious stuff. And then over here, just behind me... <coughs> look at this. Can you spot it? Come over our phone. A Microsoft one, look at that, smashed. So yeah, we don't find those very often. I always think that it's slightly odd that we don't find more, but I guess maybe they just don't end up in rivers. Uh, so yeah, it's going pretty well so far. I'm gonna have another look round and I'll bring you back and uh, catch up on what I find. See you in a sec. And look what else I've just spotted, just waiting on the surface to be found. Absolutely love to find these. And look, I think that one's probably got some age to it. It's got that older shape, hasn't it? 
for a clay pipe bowl. It's a shame it's broken, but look at it. Fantastic. I always get excited, even if they're broken, because they're quite unusual to find still in the river. On the Thames, you can find quite a few of them, and they get preserved in the mud sort of quite nicely. Um, but for us, it's slightly more difficult, so always exciting even to find a broken one, especially of that age. So, yeah, very pleased with that. It's going pretty well so far. Just had another beauty of a find. Look at this, it's half buried in the mud. I'm going to turn it over. Look at that lovely symbol on the front Oxford Homemade Seville Marmalade. Warranted pure, prepared only by Frank Cooper, 83 and 84 High Street, Oxford. So I've never seen one like that before. I'm sure they're um, around, but certainly not one that we found before. So, how exciting! So yeah, super pleased with how it's going so far and there's definitely more to be found, I'm sure. So stick with us and we'll show you what else there is. So there's a slightly deeper bit over here and we think we can see the shadow of a bottle. So Ryan's just going to try and get to it without breaching his wellies. There he goes. Get in there, I think. Don't know if you can see it yet. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's nice. It's a great one. Look at that. Lovely old top on it. And it's got some writing on it. Let's see what it says. It says, the Oak Hill Brewery Co Limited near Bath. So how exciting to find lots of like local stuff today. I think we found something from Oak Hill Brewery before actually, you know. But it's always really exciting to find local stuff in really good condition and with a bit of age to it so yeah super so I'm really excited with this place I'm glad we've discovered it always feels like why have we never been here before but you know there's obviously stuff just waiting for us to pick it out so uh, we're going to just try and head a bit further down as well so we've got plenty more larking to do fingers crossed for lots more exciting stuff and we haven't even used the glass bottom bucket yet so a good haul so far. So Ryan's just pulled something out of the water um, and I would have had no idea what it was but he tells me it is a huge piston from an engine and uh, apparently pretty big so maybe it's from a lorry or a, I don't know, a bus or something. How on earth did that end up here, I wonder? But it's always kind of interesting, isn't it? To just see the sorts of things that end up here. And a bit of sort of machinery always interests me to find. So I'm just having a look in this section here and you probably can't see from up here, but um, it looks like there's some interesting stuff just down in this deeper bit. So we're gonna try and use the glass bottom bucket. See if we can spot what it is. Let me just pop the camera in it and see if you can see it too. Oh look, that's really great isn't it? There you go, look. That's what we're looking for. Can you see it? Okay, so slightly harder than I thought to uh, film through the glass bottom bucket and get it out. So Ryan's going to help me and I'm going to film from here and we're just going to unearth it. Look how clear the water is, isn't it lovely? much movement is there? There you go. There it comes. Oh it's an old sauce bottle, look at that, HP sauce. It's got the old top on it, would have had some sort of stopper in it. So that's been buried, I mean that's so deep it's obviously been there a long time hasn't it? So how exciting. Um, and just next to it there is something else that looks like it might be a teacup maybe it's just half a teacup or a jar but we're going to dig that out too so i'll bring you back in a sec and show you what that is okay ryan's just took it out and look how exciting it is there was quite a gasp of excitement from me because not a teacup um, and uh, not really just a broken bit of jar look at it isn't that fantastic let's take it off its hook 
again well and truly buried next to that HP sauce bottle Virol, a preparation of bone marrow an ideal fat food for children and invalids isn't that fantastic and look at the condition of it I can't wait to clean that up so yes absolute joy to get that one out so there's loads of stuff that's like absolutely just sort of buried in the sand and rocks so uh, it's definitely worth a real close look How exciting! On we go! So I've brought you back just because I've got a suspicion about this item here which you can maybe see just glinting and I thought it was an old can and I thought I'll get it out of the water because it'd be the right thing to do that's what we do we always clean up as we go but as I got a bit closer I thought I'm a bit suspicious about this so come with me and we'll see if I'm right or not How funny is that? I can't believe that. And this one is C.E. Beavis, Bristol. And it's just in fantastic condition. Yeah, it's got like a metallic. That's. Okay, Ryan's just called me over because he says he can see a rock with some writing on it, which is intriguing. I'm going to have a look and see what it is. It is a rock with some writing on it. It's an old brick, look. What does that say? Looks like it says Hickneys or something. Stour Bridge. How funny to just see that writing sort of peering up at you from under the water. Yes, Can't quite read that first name, but yes, yeah, so that's pretty neat. And then Ryan spotted something else, so let's go and have a look what that is. Oh yeah, look, he looks exciting. Can you see it in there? I'll go in. Oh look, it's lovely. What is it, an old ink jar do you reckon? Or cream maybe? Let me know what you think. But that's going to clean up beautifully I reckon. The stuff here is just in super condition, it's really great. It's an absolute joy to be out on a lovely sunny day. I think you can hear the birds singing in the background, finding you some super stuff. come up a bit closer to the bridge to see what I can spot. Look at that, isn't that a stunner? Gorgeous colour. Oh, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Some really nice pottery finds as well. And we're full of the joys of spring today, just uh gathering up all of these things that are waiting to be discovered. Ryan and I were just discussing lack of paste jars in this area um, and I haven't found a paste jar but I found a little mustard jar look so that's pretty cute isn't it? So we think there's another bottle in here just under the reeds so Ryan's just going to carefully go and see if he can excavate it. Oh look it's a tiny one! I do love these small ones. In great shape, aren't they? Can't see any writing on it. But it's uh, pretty neat all the same, isn't it? Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Definite keeper for us. Honestly, it's like a little gold mine here today. We're having such a great time. And I hope you're enjoying the, the video and the finds too. And we're still going. Oh, look at that. Another one, but it's broken, unfortunately. That was a CE Beavis as well, actually. Someone's obviously smashed that to get the marble out, so we'll clear that out and get rid of it. Let me just catch you up with it. I found another one. <laughs> this is a really exciting one. It's got a really different neck on it. It's like a got sort of square shoulders on it. So um, I need the collective wisdom of my YouTube viewers to let me know What's that all about? Does that mean it's older or is it just a different design? Let me know what you think. And it says on it, Keevil, looks like it says A1, trademark. And then at the bottom there, it says Clifton and Bristol. 
Isn't that fantastic? I've never seen one like that before, you know? Certainly never found one. So that's three complete cod bottles here today, which is just unheard of for us. So absolutely over the moon with that. Just hidden under the reeds. Shocking, isn't it? Look at this lovely little find. Ryan picked this out. I think this is a little cream jug. What do you think? An old sort of ceramic jug. It's got a lovely shape, hasn't it? Let me know what you think it is. But everything's just in such good condition. So it obviously hasn't been hunted here for a very long time. Um, so we're really glad we've stumbled across it. Super finds. Look at it. Isn't that great? So here's another interesting find, not a bottle. This is the inside of an old battery look and it's still got the old terminal on top, just where I'm holding it. Uh, and you can just see the writing on there as well, look. Can't quite read what it says. Isn't that interesting? A strange old thing to find, isn't it? But it just is, um, it's always a kind of shame to find it in the water, I guess, but it's just like an interesting echo of like times gone by, isn't it? And how things were made and done. And so I quite like to pick it out, you know? Here's another nice bit of pottery, look, you can just see the faint pattern underneath. Definitely worth cleaning up, I reckon. And what a nice shape it sort of ended up in as well, look. So yeah, take that home, give it a scrub and see if I can get it back to the remnant of its former glory. I've just pulled this out, which um, I'm not sure what it is actually, but it looks pretty neat. Is it modern or has it got a bit of age to it? I don't know. It's just interesting enough to uh, spot under the surface of the water. Let me know what you think it was used for. Okay, I just went really deep um, and saw a little glint of glass and uh, managed to breach my wellies trying to excavate it and I thought, I hope it's worth it. And I think it is. So I uh, saw this side first and I was like, oh, this looks like Eiffel Tower lemonade. Found a couple of these before, always love to find them. But it's actually Eiffel Tower fruit juices, which is different. Uh, and we have never found one of those before. So that's pretty super. I'm really glad that I uh, stuck with it and got it out. Isn't that nice? Definitely one to add to the collection, isn't it? so beautifully clear here the water is pretty cold but you know it's kind of worth it for all of the great finds that we've had so far Okay, Ryan's been off a bit further downstream exploring, so time for a quick roundup of Ryan's finds. Some interesting stuff here. So first of all, this look. It's pretty hefty, this actually. Looks like it was uh, maybe painted at one point, probably the top of a bell. That's pretty sweet. Oh look, a bit of pottery remains. Lovely handle with just a bit left. But that would have been magnificent in its time. 
always love to find these. They just look great, don't they? So that's really good. Let's see what else he's got. Another handle. Not much left of this one, but look at the ornate shape. Very sweet, isn't it? And then the bottom of something else that would have been, I'm sure, pretty great in its time as well. Look at the quality of that stand. Would have loved to have seen that in its glory days. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff here. Real kind of mix of stuff. I mean, the bottles probably win it, don't you think? It's sort of unprecedented for us to find three cod bottles in one go that are in good nick. So yes, very exciting. Uh, we're going to have one last scout around now before we head off. Uh, we might try and go a bit further uh, sort of behind us up under the bridge because um, this stuff is obviously coming from somewhere. So we'll go as far as we can today, but definitely one to come back to. I'll bring you back shortly. Look at this, some lovely colours of pottery. This one's stunning, isn't it? What a lovely colour of blue. And just the edge of a great plate there, look. That telltale sort of blue and white pattern. I love to find these. I know they're broken. I don't know why I love them so much. They're just like a lovely glint of colour under the water, aren't they? So always exciting to pull those out. Right, so we've just packed up from uh, where we left you and um, we've just come a bit further upstream to see if it looks promising and um, see if we can see anything further up. Um, and you might be able to spot what I can see few interesting looking things down there it, the water is pretty deep here though and it's quite steep to get down so bear with me I'm gonna get in and I'll bring you back right I've made it down safely and it looks like an absolute treasure trove here so we'll see how far we can get some interesting signs already look so uh, let's go and have a dig see what it is Oh, look at this. <laughs> I wonder what that is. These lovely green glass bits. Oh, look. That's really weird. I've never seen anything like that before. Let me know what that is, you guys. But I really like it, you know. That lovely green glass, look. Survived all that time. Although it looks like that would have been glass as well. How exciting. There's more to pull out here, so I'll bring you back shortly. So two pieces of this lovely pottery. Shame it's not complete, isn't it, really? There might be a bit more of it in there, so I'll have a look round. Look at that lovely sort of gold edging. Isn't that super? Uh, and I'm just going to grab that jar out now, so I'll show you it when it's out. And here it is, look, in all its glory. Pretty good condition, great size. Unfortunately, it's not got the writing on the bottom, which is a shame. But look, an old sort of jam or condiment jar. Got quite a collection of these now. So it's pretty neat to find, aren't they? So it's still kind of given here. There's still loads to find. Um, and honestly, it's just sort of incredible, really, what we found so far. Really good quality stuff. Really exciting stuff and a bit of a mix, which is always nice. So let's keep going. Oh look, here's another jar, smaller size this time, but it has got the little trademark on the bottom, which is great. So yeah, how funny that they're all just sort of so closely situated together, all in pretty good condition. And um, we've spotted a bottle as well, just uh, looking in pretty good condition down here. So Ryan's just gonna go in for us and pull it out. Let's have a look at it. Ooh. That's an interesting shape, isn't it? Look, it's got that sort of old-fashioned top on it. It's got to be some sort of spirit or something, surely, hasn't it? Look at that. Incredible, isn't it? Just nestled there under the mud after all that time. What an exciting day we're having. I really hope you're enjoying it too. I think it might have some writing on the bottom, you know, but I can't tell if it's just sort of numbers or something. So, yeah, we'll give it a clean up and let you know when we get home. Can you see under there what well, I can see? Two small looking bottles. So I'm going to go in and uh, see if I can get them out. Let's see what they are. It's the first one. Oh, it's broken, unfortunately. Looks like an old sauce bottle, look. So let's get him out of the way. And let's have a look at the second one. Let's see if that's any different. Ah, better condition. 
Again, looks like a sauce bottle, doesn't it? Uh, it says Heinz on the bottom, look. Probably can't see because it's upside down, isn't it? H.J. Heinz. That's pretty cute, isn't it? So I'm going to head down that way as far as I can. You can probably see it just gets a little bit deeper there. So I've just got a little area to explore. But there's loads of stuff just sort of looking at me, waiting to be found, really. So um, on it goes, and I'll uh, bring you back and catch you up with what I find. Oh, that's a shame. You can see that under the water looking pretty neat, but the uh, bottom smashed off, which is always disappointing, isn't it? Some slimy things coming out of it too. So interestingly, there is um, stuff here, but there tends to, seems to be a lot more uh, broken glass bottles here than there are further down, which is um, interesting in itself. I've just found this complete one, and look at this. Symington and Co. You're reedy, isn't it? From Edinburgh. It's essence of coffee and chicory. So we do find quite a lot of these sort of camp coffee bottles, but not a Symington's one, I don't think. Um, and it's got that pretty old top on it, hasn't it? So I think I'm going to take it home, clean it up and put it with my collection, you know? Sometimes um, in water like this, especially that's a bit deeper and rockier, it's quite hard to tell if something is a bottle or a rock. So it's almost like a game I play with myself, like, hmm, bottle or rock. I quite often pick up rocks, as you may have seen in previous videos. But this one's quite easy to tell because it's got that lovely sort of blue-greeny colour look. So no name or anything on it, which is um, always a bit of a shame, but I really love the shape of these ones, with that wide neck and that lovely sort of bluey colour and you can see some of the imperfections looking where it was blown which just gives it so much character doesn't it I think so a definite keeper and it's nice that they're still coming out oh look at that <laughs> wouldn't that have just been magnificent what do you think some sort of uh, vase or a candelabra maybe isn't that nice and there's something else here that I want to get out as well so Let's just have a look at this. You see that in there? Big brick on top of it, so. It's broken, but it's got that lovely purple colour, which is what attracted me. It's really peaceful here, actually, really quiet. The water doesn't seem to flow as quickly, so I wonder if that's why if stuff gets sort of trapped here, it sort of tends to rock around a little bit and you know get a bit more broken than it does if it flows on down maybe that's one reason for it but there's definitely a flow of stuff coming from further up so have to be, come back and explore that in the future but for now i'll have another quick look around here before we head off and i'll catch you up and let you know what else i find i really like finding um old toys look at this i'm not sure of the age of this how modern it is but it's a corgi look Someone's lost their truck. Who knows how long ago. It's just a funny thing to find in the river, isn't it? So we do every so often find broken cob bottles and they're always sort of heartbreakers, is what I like to call them, because um, we very rarely find complete ones. So if I hadn't found three complete ones earlier on, I would be sort of more devastated by this it is still a shame because it's a bath one um, and it says cj hughes and i don't think we've seen one of those before so it would have been good but um the marbles were obviously a popular sort of pastime so uh, very often smashed it's really odd that there are so many jars in this place um uh, considering we haven't been able to get sort of very far because of the depth of the water we found sort of three complete ones sort of pretty close to each other so this is just a plain one but I'm um, still nice isn't it to find these old condiment jars so definitely worth taking home and giving it a scrub I think and then finally for here let me just show you one other little thing I found just a little door handle look and it's got that lovely sort of frilly design around the outside which I think is really cute so there we go. So we're going to head back to the bridge now where we started. I think that's probably it for today. It's been um, a real bumper find. 
I'll do you a quick roundup when I get home, just rinse some of the stuff off and, and show you everything that I've taken with me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's definitely been really exciting at our end to put out loads of great stuff. So see you shortly. everyone so we're back home I've spent the last hour or so cleaning bottles and um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick roundup of my favorite finds of today but honestly there are so many it's been such a great haul and I've really loved it today so I hope you've enjoyed it too <clears throat> so let's have a quick look so at the back there there's two of those lovely marmalade jars looking a bit better still a bit of cleaning to do this lovely Virol bone marrow ceramic jar look at that isn't that fantastic cleaned up beautifully and this is lovely as well i really like this oxford homemade seville marmalade coopers it's looking pretty great this uh, again still needs a bit more cleaning but look at it isn't it lovely and this is one i'm not sure whether this is maybe an inkwell or something let me know what you think and then the lovely little cream thing here that just has got just some lovely pattern on it hasn't it a really lovely sort of old crazed patina where it's been knocking around for so long and i think that really adds to its character actually um, my, I think this is probably a bike light um, and it was one of my favourite finds but unfortunately it hasn't really survived that well out of water which is a shame but still really pleased to have found it and brought it home a couple of other little bits and pieces at the front so my, uh, my little toy lorry look this clasp lovely pipe bowl which has definitely got some age to it look it's still got the stand on it so it would have sort of stood up like that with the pipe coming up here so that's a really nice find for today. No other pipe pieces there actually, which was interesting. A couple of pieces of stem, but nothing else. Um, and then of course, the bottles. So we'll start with the small ones at the front. This one is cleaned up beautifully. This is the Eiffel Tower fruit juices. It's just got that stunning color look. Really love that one. This is the Symington's. That's the Camp Coffee. Essence of coffee and chicory. This one's been quite difficult to clean the linseed compound. Um, but I'm quite pleased to add that to my collection because we've never had that before, so that's good. Again, this one, just plain, but it's got that stunning colour and just such a lovely shape, hasn't it? It's really got a great design to it, so cleaned up nicely. There's this one. I think that was probably a sort of spirit bottle. Was it medicine? Let me know what you think. So again, probably a bit more clean on that one, but they're a bit more difficult to clean because of the shape. Um, and then we've got... A nice old HP sauce bottle. I really like the old sort of design ones that would have had stoppers, so I didn't mind adding those to the collection. And then this lovely Oak Hill Brewery bottle in this lovely green. Again, that's cleaned up beautifully, so that's really nice to add to the collection. Uh, near Bath, look, it says at the bottom. That's great. And then, of course, my three favourite finds of the day, the cob bottles. So this is the CEB versus cleaned up beautifully lovely picture on the front look of that windmill uh, and that's from Bristol we've got the lovely little marble inside jingling around still got the rubber seal as well so that's super this is the JB Bowler which is um, from Bath so it says established 1864 uh, and it says noted Bath waters trademark and then on the back of this one it says this bottle belongs to a JB Bowler Bath, um, quite an eminent sort of businessman in his time, JB Bowler, really sort of the making of Bath, one of the biggest businessmen of his time. So the waterworks here was sort of really well regarded. And then this one is my favourite one. Uh, it's definitely older. You can just tell by the, uh, the sort of condition of the glass, can't you really? Um, and it's quite hard to read the name on it. It says Keyville A1, I think. Um, and then it's that one that says Clifton and Bristol, just around the bottom, look. I'm not sure if you can catch that. So isn't that just fantastic? It's got just that really lovely shape look of the neck, which uh, I think makes it older. But what do you think? Let me know. Let me know if you recognise it and if you can help me age it. So yes, 
some really super finds today. I did bring home some pieces of pottery as well, which I'm going to clean up later on. I'll just add them to my collection. But it's really just been a, a bumper find. We found so much exciting stuff. Uh, we were out for hours on a really sunny day. So I really hope that you've enjoyed all of these finds. Going to need some more cabinet space. Um, and we're definitely going to need to head back to that location. There's obviously an old bottle dump nearby. So we'll do some more exploring once the water levels go down in the height of summer. Um, it's definitely worth going back to. So if you've liked this video, please do press like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Let me know what your favourite find was and I hope to see you next time. Bye.